Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're taking a look at some classic games that are long overdue for a modern makeover. So get ready to power up as we dive into the past and uncover the hidden gems that deserve a fresh start. Back in the day, when someone claimed they built a PC we'd be like, dude, can this handle Crisis? It was 2007, and Crisis burst onto the scene like a game from the future. It was light years ahead of its competitors, pushing the boundaries of gaming like a true boss. Crisis had a graphical power that could melt even a modern PC, but I think the main reason behind it wasn't just game's incredible graphics. It was actually the limitations and optimization of the CryEngine version used to develop the game. Because, Crisis 2, that has more graphical fidelity, managed to run better than Crisis 1. However, we can't forget that Crisis was far ahead of its time, like five or six years ahead, and that's a fact. Remember the mission in North Korea, where the game took a thrilling twist as we discovered the aliens. The story and gameplay changes were exceptionally well designed, providing an unforgettable experience. One thing that stood out to me was the size of the jungle environment in Crisis. It gave a unique vibe that I didn't get from any other Crisis games or even many other games in general. The vastness and attention to detail made exploring the world truly captivating. Now, a remastered version of Crisis was released, but unfortunately, it received lots of negative reviews. However, I believe that with the potential for a proper remake, Crisis could become a masterpiece. Imagine enhancing the graphics, addressing the performance issues that plagued the original, and adding more enemy models other than cloning this Korean guy to diversify the gameplay. By giving it the remake it truly deserves, developers could unlock the maximum potential of this iconic game. Next we have Devil May Cry 3, a game that kicked ass with its intense action and badass combat back in 2005. Devil May Cry 3 was a true gem in the series, and while it received remastered versions, I believe it deserves a full-blown remake to unleash its maximum potential. The combat system in Devil May Cry 3 was like nothing we'd ever seen before. Swords, guns, and supernatural powers all thrown together in one crazy mix. It was a hack and slash masterpiece that set the bar for the genre. But hey, the original release had a few rough edges that a remake could smooth out. Picture this, refined controls, super responsive gameplay, and animations so smooth they'll make your head spin. It would take the stylish combos to a whole new level of awesomeness. The story of Devil May Cry 3 was a roller coaster ride of demon hunting adventure, with Dante's iconic swagger leading the way. It delved into his complex relationships, particularly with his brother Virgil, and explored themes of power, family, and destiny. A remake could provide an opportunity to expand on the narrative, dive deeper into the characters' backstories, and introduce new plot elements that enrich the overall experience. One aspect that made Devil May Cry 3 shine was its boss battles. From massive demons to relentless adversaries, each encounter was a test of skill and strategy. A remake could breathe new life into these battles by adding fresh mechanics, enhancing their visual spectacle, and introducing even more challenging foes. Picture the excitement of facing off against familiar bosses, but with redesigned movesets and unpredictable tactics. While the remastered versions of Devil May Cry 3 brought improvements to the graphics, a full remake would take it to the next level. Imagine exploring stunning environments with detailed textures, breathtaking lighting effects, and a level of visual fidelity that matches the capabilities of modern hardware. A remake would allow players to truly immerse themselves in the demon-infested world and witness the game's stylish action in all its glory. A Devil May Cry 3 remake has the potential to reintroduce this beloved title to a new generation of gamers while giving longtime fans a fresh and exhilarating experience. It would be an opportunity to celebrate the game's legacy, pay homage to its iconic moments, and bring Dante's demon-slaying adventures into the modern era. Assassin's Creed 1, where it all began. I remember the excitement when this game first hit the market. It introduced us to a unique blend of historical settings, intriguing narratives, and the exhilarating art of assassination. The parkour system was revolutionary, allowing us to scale buildings, leap across rooftops, and make our way through the vibrant cities with unmatched fluidity. It was truly a groundbreaking experience. Assassin's Creed had so much potential. It opened up a world of possibilities, exploring different time periods and delving into the hidden conflicts between the Templars and the Assassins. The historical accuracy and attention to detail in the environments were remarkable, immersing players in rich and immersive worlds. 
However, as time went on, it seems like the Assassin's Creed franchise lost its way. Ubisoft started releasing game after game, diluting the essence of what made the series special. The focus shifted from quality to quantity, resulting in rushed and uninspired titles. It's disheartening to see a franchise with such promise being churned out like a factory line. The newer entries like Assassin's Creed Valhalla may boast impressive visuals and vast open worlds, but they lack the magic that the first game captured. The emphasis on repetitive side quests and bloated content has overshadowed the core gameplay mechanics that made Assassin's Creed 1 so memorable. Even today, despite its flaws, Assassin's Creed 1 remains superior in my eyes. Its simplicity and focused narrative provided a sense of purpose, and the parkour system remains unmatched by any other game in the genre. I find myself longing for a return to the roots of Assassin's Creed, where quality and innovation were the driving forces. Imagine if Assassin's Creed 1 were to receive a proper remake, with enhanced graphics, refined gameplay mechanics, and a renewed attention to storytelling. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Let's talk about the game that defined open-world RPG Skyrim. This masterpiece took the gaming world by storm in 2011, and it's still a fan favorite today. But let's face it, even though it's amazing, Skyrim could use a little makeover to make it even more breathtaking. Skyrim's success was not just about its massive world or the countless hours of gameplay it offered. It was about the sense of adventure and freedom it provided. From slaying dragons to joining guilds and exploring hidden caves, there was always something new to discover. The game had an incredible depth, allowing players to shape their own destiny and create unique stories within the vastness of its world. However, as much as we love Skyrim, it's not without its flaws. The game was released over a decade ago, and while it still holds up remarkably well, there are areas that could benefit from a remake. Just imagine the possibilities of a modernized Skyrim. First and foremost, a graphical overhaul would be a dream come true. While Skyrim's visuals were stunning for its time, advancements in technology now allow for even more breathtaking environments and character models. Imagine exploring the snowy peaks of Skyrim with improved textures, enhanced lighting effects, and realistic weather systems it would be a visual feast for the eyes. But it's not just about the graphics. A remake could also address some of the game's technical limitations and optimize its performance. Modders have already done incredible work in this regard, but an official remake could bring these improvements to a wider audience. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Your I used to be an adventurer like you. You shut up! Then I took an arrow in the knee. You shut up! Silent Hill 2, released in 2001, remains a haunting masterpiece that has captivated gamers with its psychological horror and atmospheric storytelling. In its time, Silent Hill 2 pushed the boundaries of what a horror game could achieve. It delved deep into the psyche of its characters, exploring themes of guilt, grief, and personal demons. The game's narrative was dark, complex, and emotionally charged, leaving players with a profound sense of unease. What set Silent Hill 2 apart was its ability to create an oppressive atmosphere. The fog-covered streets, dilapidated buildings, and haunting sound design all contributed to an overwhelming sense of dread. Each step forward felt like a descent into madness, with every shadow hiding unimaginable horrors. Silent Hill 2 was a pioneer in psychological horror, and it still holds up remarkably well today. However, a remake could take this chilling experience to new heights. Picture the game with modern graphics, leveraging the power of current gaming technology to enhance the atmosphere and bring the nightmarish world of Silent Hill to life like never before. A remake could also address some of the technical limitations of the original game. Improving the controls and camera angles would make the gameplay more intuitive and immersive, ensuring that players can fully engage with the terrifying world around them. Additionally, refining certain aspects of the story and character development could further elevate the narrative, creating an even more impactful and emotionally resonant experience. Silent Hill 2 deserves a remake that does justice to its legacy. By staying true to the game's dark and psychological nature while embracing modern advancements in gaming, developers could recreate the nightmare-inducing atmosphere and deliver a truly unforgettable horror experience. It's time for Silent Hill 2 to rise from the shadows and terrify a new generation of gamers. The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, 
a timeless classic that holds a special place in the hearts of gamers worldwide. Released in 1998, it was a groundbreaking title that revolutionized the world of role-playing games. Its impact on the gaming industry is immeasurable, and even to this day, it continues to inspire and influence modern RPGs. Ocarina of Time took us on an epic adventure through the vast and enchanting land of Hyrule. From the very beginning, we were captivated by its rich storytelling, memorable characters, and immersive gameplay. It was a game that seamlessly blended exploration, puzzle-solving, and intense combat into a seamless experience. One of the aspects that made Ocarina of Time truly remarkable was its innovative time travel mechanic. The ability to switch between child and adult Link added a whole new layer of depth to the gameplay and allowed for fascinating narrative possibilities. It was a bold and creative choice that set a new standard for game design. Moreover, Ocarina of Time introduced us to an incredibly detailed and diverse world. From the vast fields of Hyrule to the mysterious dungeons and temples, every location was meticulously crafted, creating a sense of wonder and discovery. The music, the melodies played on the titular Ocarina were not only beautiful but also served as a gameplay mechanic, allowing us to manipulate time and interact with the environment. But here's the thing. As much as we cherish Ocarina of Time, it's undeniable that time has taken its toll on the game's graphics and mechanics. The blocky character models and pixelated textures, while nostalgic, may deter newcomers from fully experiencing its magic. This is why a remake of Ocarina of Time is long overdue. Imagine a remake that breathes new life into the game, revamping the graphics to stunning, modern standards. The vast landscapes of Hyrule would be more breathtaking than ever before, with enhanced details and vibrant colors. The character models would be more expressive, allowing us to truly connect with the heroes and villains of this beloved tale. Furthermore, a remake could address some of the minor gameplay quirks and limitations of the original, Modernizing the controls and refining the camera angles would ensure a smoother and more enjoyable experience for both newcomers and veterans alike. What other games would you love to see revived? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more gaming adventures. Until next time.